6 o'clock this morning, but, but uh, you know, we're way behind, folks. But this is old ham. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about... Father's Day, which is our, you know, then after Father's Day, next super very shortly, we'll have... Fourth of July. July. Mm -hmm. And then we won't be any other holidays until next fall. Oh. Yeah, unless they declare Labor Day. Labor Day, yeah. So, but as um, many of you know that have been following us, every time there's a holiday that comes up, we do give you some background about the holiday. Yeah, and it's always because what happens is from one holiday, from one year to the next, they expand the information, so it's not, it's not the same no matter what. I mean, you can go back to six years ago, and it will be a different thing than we're going to do now. Mm -hmm. Actually, six years ago, she wasn't wearing glasses. We discovered that the day we found an old video that she did. No glasses. That's how long ago that was. And she's, you know, so, but uh, <clears throat> we got uh, Father's Day, the celebration inaugurated in the uh, early 12th century to complement Our 20th century. 20th century. Well, I, I'm tired. I don't get any sleep. She doesn't let me sleep. She makes me work. I had to put brand new software on my computer last night. New 3D software. Remember, it takes three hours to do. Okay. It's complimented Mother's Day in celebrating fatherhood and male parenting. It's also celebrated to honor and commensurate our fourth fathers. Father's Day. Commemorate. Is com no, it's, well, you're, commen you're commemorated by commensurate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Father's Day is celebrated. Hey, you can just read the thing out there. <laughs> She's going to change my words. <laughs> She takes all of my tools back. If I were to go buy software, she'd take my software back. So. <laughs> and it's, um, Father's Day is celebrated on a variety of dates worldwide and typically involves gift giving, special dinners to fathers, um, and family oriented activities. But I will tell you, they don't spend as much on Father's Day as they do spend on Mother's Day, now do they? No, but I've heard the, the, the fathers twist the thing around. You know, well, you wouldn't be a mother if it wasn't for me. And the mother says, well, you wouldn't be a father if it wasn't for me. So, yeah. They don't have a kid's day. Mm-hmm. And the first observance of Father's Day, when did they think that was? In June 13th, 1910? Yeah, basically Mother's Day had already been sucked in solid by then. I love that. I noticed Father's Day came after Mother's Day. Uh, I like that, son. But basically, I love Sonora Smart Daughters Spokane. Actually, it's a woman, folks. <laughs> she, after listening to a sermon at Spokane Central Methodist Episcopal Church in 1909 about the newly recognized Mother's Day, uh, Dodd felt strongly that, that fatherhood needed recognition as well. She wanted a celebration that honored fathers like her own father, William Smart, a Civil War veteran who was left to raise his family alone when his wife died giving birth to their sixth child. So. That's it. You know, that's how you know, find out weird things when you talk about this. Like, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, black Americans are responsible more for, for Memorial Day than uh, white Americans. I know. I found that. That was kind of interesting because we didn't realize that before. Yeah. That you think that the newly freedmen for, for giving us a Memorial Day. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was the first to solicit the idea of an official Father's Day service to all fathers. Are you sure it wasn't just because they had Mother's Day so they thought they should have Father's Day? Well, she was a young person, and she basically wanted to honor her father. That was the whole oh. trip. The young members of the YMCA went to church wearing roses, a red rose to honor a living father, and a white rose to honor a deceased one. Dodd traveled throughout the city in a horse-drawn carriage carrying gifts to shut in, you know, uh, fathers. Oh, so this was like in 1910. Yeah, this is the this is the 20th century. That remember Mother's Day may have become official, but Mother's Day has been gone on for a kind of long. That's true. Wasn't it like a couple centuries? I mean, yeah, um, before it actually became official, people would just do things. In yeah, order. different. Had Mother's Day had to do a lot with fertilization, times of the year, all that stuff. Because Mother's Day hit as uh, spring was turning into summer. Oh. Where Father's Day, it just tossed out there, folks. Well, you know, and part <clears> of it <throat> is, is when they were trying to get Mother's Day versus Father's Day, right? You know, and everybody was happy with Mother's Day, right? With enthusiasm. Let's celebrate our moms and. And what the, the biggest challenge for Father's Day was when they were talking about it, they used to just laugh about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, like, oh, that was a joke. But oh. no, you know, if you honor your father, mother, you honor your father. Oh, I know. I, I, you know just, my father never got honored. That was the way it worked. What? My father was, you know, my father was working in 1910. And um, his family just, it wasn't a big deal. You go do things for your mother, but you don't do things for your father. Why not? Well, you know, when they first started it, they thought, you know, doing Father's Day was just, 
they were thought, you know, you're just filling the calendar with kind of like mindless things. Like things that, well, didn't make any difference. Yeah, what is it? It was a target of satire, parody, and parody and derision, including jokes from a local newspaper. Many people saw it as the first step of filling a calendar, calendar with minus promotions. Well, that's a hallmark day, folks. Well, you know, actually the gift card they didn't distribute. Yeah. It's been really good. Well, because part of it is, you know, they talk about the commercialism of Christmas, right? Yeah. Well, part of it is all these holidays are reasons um, to go out and buy things. Yeah. You know, just like for a female, you know, any holiday or occasion is a good reason to get a present. Yeah. <laughs> okay. it's, it's, uh, it's also, you know, if any of you notice, there's a day where the unions don't really stand out on Father's Day, though. Oh, really? No, Father's Day is it's just it's a day. I mean, it really is a made-up day. Because most of the, if you look at Mother's Day, look, most other holidays have a tradition to really go back for a long time. Really, I mean, in one way or the other, they're rooted in centuries in the past, where Father's Day is rooted in the 20th century. Mm. So, so a bill to accord national recognition of the holiday was introduced in Congress in 1913. And it, there actually was a bill. Yeah, uh -huh. that's how it happens. They make it the uh, they vote before Congress. They stand up, have a vote on it. Nobody ever votes against it, and then the president either signs it or doesn't sign it. So. With, via auto pen or not? Yeah. Basically, Woodrow Wilson uh, went 1916 to, uh, wanted to make it official, but Congress resisted, fearing it would become commercialized. <laughs> remember, uh, we were heading into World War I, and they had other things to think about rather than... Oh. Basically, let's put it this way. It's, I'm going to tell you, it's the same people that voted against going into World War I that voted against Father's Day. Are you serious? Yeah. And I'm going to, really, this is going to be a difficult one for all you people to believe. It was Republicans that voted against going into World War One. It was Republicans that voted against going into World War Two. It was Republicans that voted against Korea. It was Republicans that voted against Vietnam. Oh, really? Isn't that amazing? That is. Yeah, we had Democratic presidents in all those times. Uh... Yeah, the Democrats led the charge, but um, but it, yeah, basically what happened. Uh, President Calvin Coolidge recommended in 1924 that today be observed by the nation to stop short of issuing a national proclamation. But here we go. Um, this woman I knew, uh, 1957, uh, Senator Margaret Shea Smith, who was actually in the entertainment business. She was, she's actually, she was an actress that moved into the politics thing because her husband was the senator. She took over his remaining term as senator and hung there forever. I mean, she was one of, the, she was one of these really well-liked but you know what turned it? She was a Republican. Mm. And when the Republicans got involved, that's all it needed to get it through. Mm. Uh, she wrote a proposal accusing Congress of knowing fathers for 40 years while honoring mothers, uh, thus singing out one or two parents. In 1966, President Johnson issued the first proclamation honoring fathers, designating the third Sunday in June as Father's Day. Six years later, the day was made permanent a holiday when a Republican Got it through. Richard Nixon. Oh, all the way till Nixon's time? All the way till Nixon's time. Wow. Yeah, because there was no Republican support for it. But uh, in addition to... Can you believe uh, it took that long to make... I mean, I would have thought that it would have been earlier than that, but it wasn't until Nixon's signed yeah. it into law until 1972 that it was actually, actually a holiday. Okay, because the Republicans... Had, uh, uh, they had uh, tremendous Democratic Party support, but not enough Republican support until, here's what happened in 72. Republicans took control of the Congress. Mm -hmm. And guess what happened? The Republicans tend to be more, even though the Democrats own all the business, all the small businesses are Republicans, mm -hmm. their small business could see a reason for Father's Day because it meant money in their pockets. The big business, it didn't mean anything, was inconsequential. But uh, we have, uh, in addition to Father's Day, International Men's Day is celebrated in many countries on November 19th for men and women, for uh, men and boys who are not fathers. I never heard knew of International Men's Day. Yeah, I have. Day. I have. It's a uh, United Nations thing. Okay. It's basically for the. <clears throat> what happens is, is that you got all of these uh, single men that have children. So, and there's more. I think as bad as our divorce rate in our country, the divorce rate in around the world. Is more ungodly than ours. Really? Well, yeah. Oh. Well, because they, uh, you know, they get rid of wives and they're coming. They basically just stone them, hang them, kill them. You know, so. 
But here's the, this is, we got, now we get to commercialization. This is where her area comes in. Oh. So, and the Associated Men's Wears, a retailer formed a National Father's Day Committee in New York City in the 1930s. Remember we were talking about commercialization because, you know, there's always a good reason to buy or a good reason to sell things, right? Yeah. And it was renamed in 1938 to the National Council for the Promotion of Father's Day and incorporated several other trade groups. Yeah, but they get hit by World War II. Well, then, let's see. So, because they wanted to legitimize the holiday to give you a reason to go out and buy things, yeah. right? Well, it, it was uh, basically <coughs> because it fell between Mother's Day and, um, and there was nothing between Mother's Day and the Fourth of July, and they wanted to get people uh -huh. into the stores, so it made sense. But I, mean, I don't think I've ever bought my father a suit for Father's Day. Well, and then part of it is Don always. I mean, he had no problem with the commercialization of Father's Day. Because actually Mother's Day had already been around and it, it had already been commercialized. Because remember the early days of Mother's Day was a while. Yeah. And the person who started it, Anna Jarvis, she had a problem with the commercialization of it. Yeah, but, but, that, but Ms. that was like a decade ago before Father's Day. Yeah, but Ms. Dodd not only encouraged it, she... <laughs>